So guys, this is new update in Oxynos McLaren Android port. Now I recently made a video on that port and that room is completely amazing. You get 11 hours of battery life. Gaming performance is just outstanding. Now you can play up to 90 FPS in PUBG. And by far, Oxynos is the base Android port out there. So in this video, I will let you know what's new in this update and we'll also show you how to install this on your phone. So let's get started. So first we'll talk about user interface. Now it's completely smooth and all of the bugs that you had in version 2 is now removed from this one. So not only this port gives you pure Oxygen OS which is OnePlus software but this is a dedicated gaming room too. Now you can play PUBG in smooth with ultra, extreme and even 90 FPS. Yes guys, you can play with this room for 90 FPS, but make sure you have that kind of hardware to run this game at 90 FPS. For example, if your screen is 60 Hz, the maximum you can overclock the screen up to 70 Hz. If you don't know how to overclock your display, you can find that in i button. But even after overclocking your display, maximum you can have 70 FPS. But if you have latest phone with higher display frequency, then you can definitely install this port and play PUBG in 90 FPS. And also whenever you open any game, in the previous build the gaming mode was not activated by default. Now they have fixed that bug, now whenever you open any game, you will see gaming mode activated in your status bar. So this complete OS is ported from OnePlus 7T. And this is Oxygen OS 14.2 McLaren Edition. And the reason this is my favorite Android port because your phone can't detect that you are using Android port. As you can see my Play Store is certified, even Play Store can't detect that I'm running non-official OS in my phone. You can use any payment app, banking apps, everything is working perfectly because currently this is non-rooted phone. This port is so perfect that even Geekbench couldn't tell I'm using Redmi phone. Unfortunately, it's still on Android 10, but as a bonus, you get this Hydra Plus kernel, which is a dedicated gaming kernel, and it also gives you good battery life. And this amazing combination is the reason people install this OS. They get Oxygen OS, plus pre-installed Hydra Plus kernel, and very good battery life. So these three things make this room better than any room out there. So apart from bugs, now in this build, Wi-Fi call is working, video call is working and because this is OnePlus dialer, you also get inbuilt call recording feature. You can easily root this Oxygen OS with Magis 21 but don't forget if you root this, your safety net will fail and you won't be able to use some apps. You also get Dolby Atmos pre-installed in this room which is really hard to install nowadays. So with this software, you can tweak your audio with plenty of audio profiles given by Dolby. Now let me show you what you get with this room. In the setting menu, you go to customization. There are plenty of preset themes. Plus, you get this McLaren Edition theme too. And if you don't like that, you can always customize different theme for yourself. And also in the wallpapers, you get all the wallpapers from OnePlus. And the reason this theme engine is different because you can customize your buttons too. You can change the way your button looks in your setting menu. But my personal favorite feature is this horizon light. So whenever you get new notification, this horizon light shows up on your lock screen and it looks really cool. This Android port comes with Gcam 7.4 pre-install. And everything is working in Gcam, video recording, slow motion and night sight too. So the software is working properly with my phone and all the OnePlus gestures are working great. In fact, I just came from Android 11 room and these gestures are even better than stock Android 11. It looks like MIUI but it's different. Like when you install some custom rooms, you feel like this is unfinished product. But this OS looks solid and you can trust for stability. Personally, I feel Oxygen OS is really superior than some custom rooms in terms of features and smoothness. Also, this OnePlus launcher is great. It's definitely better than Pixel Launcher. Here you can disable or enable app drawer. You can have notification dots. And of course, this hidden space is part of Oxygen OS launcher, which makes it great. So even though this is perfect ROM, there is one tiny feature which is not working. Quick launching your payment app by long pressing your fingerprint. Because I have physical fingerprint, that feature is unavailable on my Redmi Note 7 Pro. If you're using any other phone, it might be available for you. And now I'll show you how to install this on your phone. So first of all, download these three files from description box below. 
now you can use any recovery you want i'm using orange fox so once you go to recovery wipe everything except internal storage and then first install the latest firmware then this oxygen os rom file and this fcap disabler make sure you install these three files otherwise your phone won't boot once you install them the first boot will take around 5 to 10 minutes like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel and i will see you tomorrow